Welcome to another episode of Liddy for My City. You already know who it is. It says it like right down there, so maybe right up there. Queens Liddy, you already know. So today we're doing Blanco Tequila, something that you're familiar with, something that we're familiar with, something that we see on the bars. These are name brands that are not talked about too rarely, but we always see them when we go to the club before post-corona. Yeah, one of them is. So, you will know Don Julio is the maker of 1942. Indeed, which... Or 42. <laughs> Keep on saying 42. I think 42. We should, I think we should just name it 42. Jackie Robinson. Either way, <laughs> the reason why we're doing another episode of Blanco, Blanco Tequilas is just, there's just so many. There are so many Blanco Tequilas. This, I mean, there's Reposados and Anejos, but Blanco's the most popular by far. And there are so many. So, trying as many of them as we can. And I'm on the side of the Casanova, which I see the bottle a lot. I see it in I see post corona clubs. Uh, I seen it in liquor stores, and I just see it sitting there. And I'm curious, which you know I have a very nice collection of alcohol, which you know we both do. And um, honestly, I think they should go head to head with each other for the hell of it, because you know what? There is so many blancos out there. So many, and. There's no need to keep buying the same ones when you could potentially find another gem sitting on the shelf that nobody knows about and be able to get it for cheap. Like Casamigos was about five years ago when nobody knew about it. But look at it now. $60 a bottle. Thanks. Appreciate you. When everybody's buying Patron, I had Casamigos sitting. Nobody wants to get it. Oh, whatever. Anyway, this is what we do for you. You and you Blanco drinkers shot it. Ice it, mix it, do what it do. We're gonna start off with shots. Bap, bap. Um, honestly, let's go with the Don Julio shots first. Let's see how that turns out. So as we know, shot, 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 shots. Um Everybody. With my girl, Harley Quinn, shot glass, Lady Luck herself. Not that she got the gat. Not that she got the hammer. Not that. <laughs> mm. And I am a key. Alright, so, wet in the palettes. Standard, standard by tequila. It's actually okay. Excuse me. Let me give Ugh. it a little more credit than that. It's a standard good white tequila. It's not overly spicy. It's not burning going down. It's there's a little residual burn happening right now, but it's kind of like a nice slow burn. It's it's, it's not entirely unpleasant. And I'm pretty sure if I'm pretty sure if this were on the rocks, which we'll see later, that there would be way less of it. But um, agave is present, but standard boy tequila, standard good boy tequila. Me? Mm, I feel like there's a there's a slight aftertaste, and it's. It's not bad, but it's not good either. It's a slight aftertaste that I'm tasting right now. Now, mind you, for standard Blanco tequila, this is not bad at all. Believe me, I had worse. As I said, it's a standard good Te white tequila. tequila. So, like, like it doesn't stand. It's not an outstanding white tequila like the Casamigos, but it's it's de it's it's decent. Like, if somebody will bring this to my um to a get together I'm having. 
I won't be too mad at. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it on the bar. Yeah, you can put it on the bar. That's cool. Like if any, yeah, yeah. Like would uh, would I say it'll beat out a couple of tequilas that was on the show? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it would. But most certainly would. But um, it's not bad. Not the worst one. What? <sighs> just, are... just sorry. Just no. This is something that you don't use for house liquor. And this is a good mixer. I mean, you could. It's it's it's, it's a good, good like it's it's a nice all around tequila like it it's one of those that where you can use it in any situation. Are you taking shots off of a stripper's belly in Tijuana? You can drink down Hulu. Are you sitting at a hotel bar in LA? You could drink down Hulu. Are you doing Snorting a lineup. Yeah, anyway, so it's not bad. You can drink Don Julio. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Um, single de Mayo. You can drink Don Julio. Taco Tuesday. You can drink Don Julio. Like, it's a good tequila. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. It's a good tequila. But, on to Casa Noble. We'll see how it stacks up. There's one thing about this white tequila thing. You gotta be uh, careful with it. Because these bottles are shaped so differently. That's not what I was talking about. I was talking about being careful with tequila in general. Because this is a real metal pop. Like, this will hurt somebody. That is not what I'm talking about. This, I'm not what I'm talking about at all. This not what hurts somebody. It, maybe. It's not what I'm talking about. People make bad decisions when they take tequila. When they drink tequila. Bad decisions. And they tend to blame it on the tequila itself. No, no. it was your decision to cop it. We're talking about days. Way, way back in the day days. Bad decisions. And listen. It doesn't matter. Looking at you, Jose Cuevos. Stop it. It doesn't matter. If you like to drink tequila... And you know you make bad decisions drinking tequila. All you have to do is put contingencies in place for when you make the bad decisions you know you're going to make. And then drink the tequila anyway. Just drink it. Don't worry about it. Mama hen. Things work out. Mama hen. Things work out. You know what? Let's try the Casanova. See how it uh Oh, unexpected. Mm. Very unexpected. It's giving me a different reaction. Yo. Than the Don Julio. Ooh. It's kind of weird. The Don Julio starts better, but the Casa Noble finishes better. better. So it's it's kind of weird. Like, Wing said that the Don Julio left kind of like a weird... And a, not a weird aftertaste, but a slight bitterness. Um, the Casa Noble, it's like it gets that bitterness out of the way. There's and a bite in the beginning. There's a bite and a heat in the beginning, but then but it, it just disappears. Down. It goes down so smooth, like yo, it doesn't, it do, it doesn't wrestle it down where it go, where you feel the calmness first and then the bite after. It gives you that slight bite and it just cools down after. Like, even there's no bitter taste at the end. This is something that's a very smooth finish. It's, as I said, so the better to the better start or the better finish. Hmm. I got something you gotta try. Hmm. On ice. Let's check it out because I don't know with shots. Yo, bro. I'm not sure because. I know I said that Don Julio is a good everyday tequila, but but this the Casa Noble is also a good everyday tequila. Like you could you could this you could is, theoretically do both. This is something that you might want to like experiment with at home to know what, exactly what we're talking about. Because honestly, this is our first time ever trying Casa Noble, and this is actually a diamond in a rough right here. I'm not gonna hold you. I mean, if I was. 
for now. So we are trying them on the rocks because honestly, with shots, we I mean we both have one shot each, so I mean we're not gonna be able to decipher which one is better with one shot. But I will say that both of them you're only as good as your choices. So honestly, both of them are really good on the decision making if you're gonna cop one or the other. And it's literally most likely a ten dollar price difference. That's true. So it's it's a give or take. So we're gonna see which one. Let's see which one's better on the rocks. So we can make an ultimate determination of which one is better. Because as I said, with the shots, can't really tell. Because you know, shots go on, go down type rigorous. <laughs> goes down like when you just, you know, feeling a little bit of tequila. tequila. I need a fifth. It's tequila, tequila. I, I never knew that. I miss her. <laughs> That's different. And it's just as I suspected. As soon as the Don Julio's on the rocks, that slight burn is gone. The rocks actually, I mean, the ice actually cools down That's different. that aftertaste as well. So it finishes as smooth as the Casa Noble did, but there's still a little bitter aftertaste, but, but this is pretty decent. Like, honestly, I didn't like the there's no the 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 the, the burn after it's it really calmed down a lot for me. The, the ice really does that. The, like, like the ice has a profound effect with cooling down the burn and kind of leveling out the bitterness. Uh, it's worth the fifty four dollars. On ice, it's definitely worth the fifty four dollars. It's not fight. It's not. It's not giving you a a kapow at the end. Yeah. Yeah. It's not giving you the kapow. I'm not angry. At it. I'm not angry. At it. This is a good matchup. This is a good matchup. Like I can't wait to see if the or I can't wait to see if the ice will cool down the beginning. The initial of the initial bite of the Casanova as it cooled down the finishing of the Don Julio. Only one way to find out. Because you know, we ain't doing it for us. We doing this one. You, you, and you. Yeah. Guess what? I ain't gonna lie. I'm doing it for me. This is $10. I'm doing it for me. This is $10. Me. Me. <laughs> me. <laughs> me. <laughs> me. This is probably $10 or $15 cheaper than your favorites. Amigos, please. <laughs> now for the Casa Noble, let us see if it can match the Don Julio on the rocks. Because that was a very good showing. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you. Real talk, I'm kind of curious to see what the ice does to the Noble. Real talk. Chance, let it uh cool down. Now we gotta activate the taste buds. It's fucking together. Especially this is the blanco. If this was reposado or añejo, which then yeah. I hope y'all know the difference between a reposado and a añejo. Quick lesson: blanco, white, reposado, midi, añejo, dark. And there's also the double dark too. But we don't need to get into that one. That's they also have it. Crystal Añejo, which is filtered. I did. Listen. Yo, yo. So, this, this Crystal Añejo is coming too. Yo. There's this, so much tequila. Oh, my God. This tequila. So this tequila. Oh, there's an Añejo. Actually, that's um that's um that's aged in whiskey barrel to, to, to you know. There's but, yo. so much tequila. Like, tequila is. And you want to talk about You want to talk about tequila. Tequilas are, like, there's so many different types of tequila, like, it's not even funny. Like, if you want, there's, like, bro, like, for every occasion, if you want to sip, if you want to shoot, 
if you want to drink on the rock Rocks. straight, if Flats. you want to mix, if you want to do anything, bro. Like, yo, tequila is a very versatile drink. That's why we like it so much on this channel because it's just like that's why we're drinking so much of it. You're only it's as good, good shit. as your choices. Exactly. And tequila got so much choices. Exactly. It's like you going to a to a car to you're going to uh, let, let's just say let, let's uh, this, you, yeah, yeah let us try this going to a brand or choosing which color and which which package you want that goes to show you what car you want next either way it seems that the ice has removed all of the burn from the casanova like all of it like Hands down. There's literally no burn. Like, there's nothing. Like, you drink Bro. it and it's, you're tasting. Wait, wait. No, you're literally no. tasting just like straight agave wait. and that's it. Like, they call this and a sleeper. Just... This is a sleeper. This is yes. a sleeper. You yes. can drink this on ice and forget that you're even sipping on this. And real talk, it'll get you. It will. It will. I'm not gonna lie. That's a no boy. Mm. Mind you, there's a fifteen dollar difference, which is I feel like I'm tr I feel like I'm and the Casanova's cheaper. Yeah, yeah. So Casanova's cheaper. I feel yo. Know, I feel like this will be the one for the ladies and for the gentlemen that like to sip. This is for anybody. This is unisex. This is unisex. I mean, okay. Now comes to make a decision. Um, straight up shooting. In my opinion, straight up shooting, I'll go with the Casanova because I like the smooth finish. I'd rather have the bite first and then it goes it goes so smooth. And I would honestly take the Don Julio straight up just because I like the initial smoothness and the bite at the end doesn't bother me that much. It's more on preference for shots. Well, I, you know what? I guess the bite at the end makes it a little bit more exciting. I guess. But so, let's call it a draw for round one. Yes. But on the rocks, ooh, I mean, Don Julio had a great show, but I ain't gonna lie, boy. I'm gonna have to get this one to the Casanova because this is, this is delicious. And I can agree with that 100%. So, listen, Casanova wins this round. It wins... What do, what do we call it again? Oh, my bad. Liddy alert. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing with y'all. It actually wins the pricing. <laughs> hey, Liddy. <Lydia. laughs> Liddy alert. <laughs> this actually, this actually wins. It wins the price war. It wins overall smoothness with ice. With the ice, yeah. And it actually has a very nice body to it. It's You could taste the straight agave. You could taste, like, you could taste a little bit of the spices in here. It's yeah. so much you could say about Casanova on ice that you just want it on ice. It's good. Casanova on ice is good. And I know that many people don't really drink Blanco tequila on the rocks. A select few of you do. And shouts to y'all. Y'all are the real connoisseurs. That's a fact. So maybe in a mix, maybe in a, some cocktails, this will go good with ice. And honestly, I can, I can see this going with strawberry. I can see this going with a lot of mixed drinks on ice. And you won't even know there's tequila. I'm not going to lie, boy. <laughs> some pineapple juice in this. <laughs> with lemonade. Oof. Oh, 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 boy. Some lemonade. Don't get me started. Incredible. Yo. Incredible. Listen. Iced tea with peach in it? Oh, I Listen, think I'm saying too much. No, you're not saying too much. Listen, peach iced tea and tequila or lemonade and tequila? <laughs> That's the one. Try kid. It. Matter of fact, frozen lemonade mm. and tequila? Mm. You know what? That's a summer drink. Which 2021 summer? It's right winter the time. No, it is not. If we still got spring to go through, we in the dead middle of winter. It's freezing outside. We'll be all right. But Cassie I wanna, I, I wanna go down south. I can't take this shit no more. <laughs> it's cold. I'm seeing all sorts of beautiful women down south. Like, yeah, come on, Doctor Lady, come on, enjoy, 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 enjoy. <laughs> And I'm up here freezing my ass off. Yeah, I'm not going to Georgia, but um. Let me put on the hoodie. 
You see, you gotta put on a hoodie. I wanna go somewhere where hoodies are obsolete. Obsolete. You always see me with a hoodie. Probably sleeveless, probably short sleeve. That's just who I am. But keep it litty for your city because Casanova has won this round for the Blancos. It does, it does. And I honestly, I'm not gonna hold you. If you put it against Casamigos, I, With this I shot want to say Casamigos. Casamigos would win. I want to say Casamigos would win, but honestly, I don't know. So you know what? What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take the best individual white tequilas. How about this? And time put them together against. Time out. Time out. How about this, right? How about this? If Casanova will win another one. It'll go against the Casamigos because Casamigos won two times over with the Blanco. Mm -hmm. So we got to put it against something else. So stay tuned and watch what we about to do because there's no one like us. Not going to hold you out, bro. 2021 is going to be a fun year. Ah. It's going to be pretty lit. I'm not going to hold you out, bro. Keep. Stay tuned, bro. Stay tuned. Son, because we got a lot of, we got a lot of liquor to drink. And we got a lot of reviews to show y'all we got we got a couple special special guests coming up um shout out to you and you you know who i'm talking to that's a fact so everybody keep it litty for your city and drink responsibly and please drink, and smoothly and the right way please for the cheapos we got an episode